Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how to build and run a day trader application in Liberty container which accesses DB2 running in DB2 container from the Eclipse Docker tooling. Let us start the demo by launching the Eclipse. So now we are in the Docker tooling perspective. So let us first establish a connection to the VM wherever Docker daemon is available. So since I'm using Mac, so I need to provide the TCP IP connection. So first let's give the connection name. So I'm giving the connection name as the name of the VM. And then I'm going to provide the connection information. 2.168.99.01 and then the port number 2376. And then I need to give the path where the certificates are available. Slash users dot docker then machines machines and then vm1 so let me first test the connection the connection is successful so let's give finish so now we could see we have successfully connected to the vm vm1 where the docker daemon is running so let's check for the existing containers and images so there are no containers available and there are few images available since pulling the images would take some time so i have already pulled the db2 image which we need from the docker hub similarly i have pulled the web square liberty kernel image and also i have built the day trader application image using the web square liberty kernel image because here we are going to will be using the install utility command which takes some time to pull the various features from the repository now let us see how we can build the new db2 image so we are going to first build the db2 image docker images so this is the option which you can use for build an image using the docker file click that so i'm going to give the name of the images db2 and the directory where i have the docker file slash users then demo then db2 now let's see the docker file edit docker file so in the docker file you could see i'm going to use the db2 express image which already i have pulled as a base image and then i'm just going to execute a command which is going to start the db2 and create a sample db cancel now let's click finish and build the image so we could see the image is getting built we could clearly see the db2 image has been successfully built now let us build the day trader image again so let's click the build the image and we are going to specify the same name day trader again then we are going to specify the folder where we have the docker file so let's review the docker file so in the docker file we could see that we are going to use the webspeer liberty kernel as a base image and then we are going to copy the application under the drop-ins folder and copying the server.xml with the related information required by the application to the, the default server folder and the required db2 jars under the daytrader 3 sample db2 libs folder and then we are going to run the install utility to install the features required by the application since we are using kernel it won't have any features so let's build the image building the image and the image has been built successfully because I have already built the image and all the layers are already available in the cache so using that the new image has been built successfully now we have the images so let us start the container using that right click so first let's start the db2 container so we are going to give the container name as db2 and the command which has to be started during the container startup as db2 start and then click next so we have here we have to define two environment variables so let's add that db2 nst one underscore password we'll give the value db2 nst one click ok then give the another environment variable that is for license acceptance license and then we'll give accept click ok so now click finish so the container has been successfully started so and we could see the logs here so now let us start a day trader container control 
right click run so here we are going to use the name of the container as trade trader and then let's give the IP address of the VM to access the application which is running in this container let's edit it then click OK so and then we are going to create an alias to the DB2 container so add let's select the container which is the DB2 and the alias name also will define as DB2 then click OK then click next then click finish so now we could see the trade trader container which has been linked to the DB2 container has been started successfully and we could see the logs here let's wait till the application gets launched so the application has been successfully launched now let us try and access the data application in a web browser let's launch let's try and access the application using the vm ip address dot ninety nine dot one zero one then we need to give the port number 9080 and the data data the data data application has been launched successfully let us see whether we could access the database so and you could see the data tables has been created successfully so let's do let's reduce the values to minimum so that we'll be able to, to perform some operations update config again let's go back to the configuration let's populate the data the trader database so the database has been populated successfully so the database has been configured successfully so let us perform some operations go to trading and portfolios click login and then let's go to the quotes and trades click perform some operations so let's go and check it in the home and then let's review the various pages update portfolio and then click log off as part of this demo we have seen how to build images and run containers using those images from the eclipse docker tooling Thanks for watching the demo.